guess you all know who I sleep with. <laughs> the co-president. <laughs> what a really fun speech. Spec, the title. Who knew where she was going with this? She kept that a secret till the end, at least for me. I, I hadn't read the history of Spencer Penrose, so that was really, really good. She had a couple of objectives. To understand the purpose of stories, she nailed that one. I mean, Speck was a, was a big person in Colorado Springs with the Broadmoor, Penrose Stadium, the list goes on, the zoo. So she concluded, and the purpose of the story had a big meaning for us in Colorado Springs. Second purpose was to tell a historical event using the skills that she's developed in the other manuals, and she did a great job. It was a perfect you know, flow through of events. We learned about Speck. We learned that he likes to drink a lot. <laughs> he um, graduated in 1885 from Harvard. Um, we know what his that he could win a beer drinking contest in 37 seconds. <laughs> he had a couple brothers that uh, survived. He had six brothers all together. We learned a lot about Spencer Penrose, and certainly it's a lot of stuff that I didn't know about. <clears throat> As uh, Maureen mentioned, she's got a great memory. By the way, I, I have the foresight use the word of the day. <laughs> Charlotte had some really good jokes in this, and I, I, I would suggest that you use a little bit bigger pause. You know, gold mining in Mexico, and you could even use the, the minor pot, or the, the miner's pan, and use a little hand gesture, and then turn it upside down or something, nothing in there. Charlotte asked me um, to look for a bigger stage presence. She started out great. Fire in the hole! She did die down a little bit after that, and I think there were some opportunities to speak up a little bit. She had a great voice imitating Spencer Penrose with the deep voice. Um, hand gestures. There wasn't anything wrong with them. They were, they were good. But you could have emphasized the beer drinking, and, and um, when they had alcohol freely, you could have just kind of staggered around maybe a little bit, used a little bit more of the stage, a little bigger presence. <coughs> there were a couple of words that um, were kind of big words. <coughs> Cantankerous, I'm not sure that we all know the definition, <laughs> of that, the definition of that off our head. So maybe tone those down. And you used a word, I probably didn't spell it correctly because I've never heard it before. <laughs> Osterestus? Obstreperous. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so overall, great storytelling. You met the objectives. It was very educational for me. You saved the punchline for last. Mm -hmm.